Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I am working on a patriotic idea today and I hope that you will join me. We're going to need some cubes. I have three cubes right here. These came from the Dollar Tree. I also have some temporary tattoos and these are all the patriotic tattoos that you'll find at Dollar Tree. I also have my chalk paints available. I have the blue color which is nautical. The red one is imperial and I have the white chalk. I also have my clear wax as a sealant. I also pulled my glitter glues. I have the clear one here with the silver sparkles. I have a red one and a blue one. You will also need your basic tools for this project. You will need your paint brushes, your paint tray, and all the goodies that go with that. And I will let you know if I need any additional supplies to complete this project. I want to do a little prep work before I start my painting. I want to pull these off because this uh, paper they put on here, it does have a plastic coating. So I want to go ahead and pull them off and uh, use whatever tool you think is necessary and just lift that paper up. If I can get catch the corner here, I should be able to pull it. But See there, like this. Get that off because this is, uh, it's got that plastic coating. Now you can go ahead and damp this a little bit and it should come right off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all my cubes. I have cleaned off all my cubes. I took that plastic coating off and then I moist it and just scrape the rest of the paper off. I'm going to paint one in each color, the red, white, and blue. And then I want to um, add one of these tattoos in on each side of the cube, right? I think that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and um, paint my blocks. I have the blue, the red, and the white. And I just use one coat of the paint. And you know chalk paint dries quickly so you don't have to wait too long on that. Now I went to choose one of these. I'm wondering how, how well it's going to show up. Maybe I use the red ones. Let me grab my scissors. And cut some of these out. So I can put that 
like right there. Let's try that. So let's pull. Did I get that right? Remove plastic and place desired image face down. Apply water 30 seconds. Peel backing. So yeah, this is for the skin, but we're gonna try it on here. Let's see how it turns out. Put that on there and then I need some water. I'm gonna brush the water on. And I'm trying to keep the water on the paper. I'm gonna press down, let's see. Apply water, wait 30 seconds, and then peel. To remove, use baby oil or rubbing alcohol. Do not try to remove with soap and water. Hmm, I did not know that. I usually just let them peel on their own. Well, this is what it looks like. And see if I can go do some outlining with the white uh, paint like um, the white gel pen so this is the blue hmm. I mean you can see it if you're like really close see there let me try the red one I think I want to use Let's do the hat. I like the hat. You know, I was experimenting one day when I was doing the Halloween projects and I was like, let me try this on paper. And it actually turned out really good. I know ever since then I've been putting tattoos on everything. <laughs> okay, and then let's try that right here kind of center it a little bit and I need some water now this tattoo only comes in red and the black ink it would be nice if they had like a white one. Oh, you know what I do have some silver I think it's silver maybe gold rub on stickers we might try that one of those let's see Look at that one. You see that? Isn't that pretty? I like it. Let's try the white one. Let's see. Let's do uh, Statue of Liberty. I need to peel the plastic off. There we go. And then put this on here. I think about right there. And then some water. And peel. Well, look at this. Isn't that pretty? I like it. Okay, so this is the the red one, and let's try a blue one. Um, how about the eagle with the flag? And make sure I get it on the block. There we go. I think right there. And then some water. Okay, I'm gonna rub. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that neat? I like it. So this is the blue ink one. And then the red ink one. Nice.
the rub-on stickers. This is the one I'm talking about. It's gold. Um, see there? Uh, the only thing is the images are a little big on here. There's a few tiny ones. And then I have this one too. I think that was an eagle right there. I'm not sure. Um, stars and stripes. I need to put um, something right there. see how does it go so it goes this way and I need to put something right there something small it's got to fit right in there maybe the USA or maybe the bell I cut the bell out let me see if I can get this in there Except it's a gold bell. So something like this. And then I need a craft stick here. Look at that. Okay, maybe I, I should have like, maybe, um, <laughs> maybe I should have cut this part off and then that way I could have dropped the bell a little lower, but this is fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll deal with it. And then, um, see how this one, it's centered right in there. I was trying to do that. Where did it go? <laughs> Now this one, oh, I messed that one up. I'm missing a piece of my um, my tattoo. See right there. So uh, let me see if I can uh, rub this one off and put something else on here. But now it doesn't want to rub off. <laughs> goodness it doesn't want to rub off oh gosh okay all right let me experiment with this one because um since it's messed up i will probably just paint over it so i grabbed my my gel pen let's see i can go back over the lines like that
here are my cubes. I have the blue one here. The blue one, um, I used the the red ink tattoos. So I have the anchor. I have an eagle. I um, have the weights. This one I tried to outline it with some uh, white gel pen. Yeah, you need a, a steady hand to do that. And then here's a, a B. And a flag. Um, I think I, I think that's it. Oh, hold on. I have one. Where did it go? Here. I kind of redid the outlines too, and I just kind of like did the outline on the the feathers here, and did the the shield right here, and then you got the some stars in there and some uh, laurely is that what it's called so if they're like uh, small pieces and it takes a bit of time <laughs> and then there's a rose right here I tried to do the rose too so, but you know if you want it to stand out then go back over it with some uh, some sort of gel pin but um, other than that you can still see the image you know I like it and then here's the white one on the white one I use the red inks and the blue inks there's a, a patriotic butterfly and then on this one I added that rub on now I, I could have probably done a little better and lowered it the bell a little bit but it's fine and then the Statue of Liberty this way the eagle with the flag and then here see this is a nice image this is what I was trying to do with the bell but I didn't I lower it enough and then oh, here's another one so that's the white one and then here's the red one and then I used the the blue ink tattoos on this one. There's um, the United States and an eagle, a butterfly, a flag, and another eagle. So that's what they look like. I like it. I'm happy with it. I have myself um, some patriotic cubes. This is a nice, cute, um, quick project. You know, you may want to give it a try. And then these are uh, the, a really good size for like tear trays if you want to. Or you can make as many as you want. You don't have to put an image on here if you don't like. You can put like uh, words on there like USA or you know things like that. If you have a steady hand and you want to write on there, go ahead. If you want to draw your own image on there, go for it. But I like this. So I'm going to use this you know, somewhere. <laughs> you can stack it like this or you can just put them side by side like this. Well, my colors are auto. There we go. Red, white, and blue. See there? I like it. I hope you like this project and that you give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. And I will see you next time.